So today on Techno Dad Life, we're going to be opening up our eBay find, which is a $99 server. It's very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. And so we'll do that right now. So uh, today I have something really special. So I have, I got a brand new server and it was only $99 plus shipping. So why would a server only be $99? Well, this happens to be one manufactured in 2013. So it's, it's five years old. But it was never used when I came when it came actually this tape which is the Lenovo tape was still intact so uh, I found this on eBay there were a bunch of these uh, from the same person in, in South Carolina where somebody must have bought some and then uh, they never used them they just had them in the back closet so uh, so what did I get so I got a think server TS uh, 130 here which is a Core 2 processor. It's got four gigabytes of RAM, but why I actually wanted it is it has two 500 gig uh, hard drives. And so we're gonna be using this in my office. And so, because it only has four gigs of RAM, uh, I can't use NAS for free. I was thinking maybe I will use either Ubuntu server or something similar to that. Uh, and then I thought there's also uh, free NAS, but there's also NAS for free. I think I just said NAS for free, but free NAS, you need at least eight gigabytes of RAM. This doesn't have it. I, my wife doesn't want me to spend any more money on this, so I'm, I'm not gonna buy the extra four gigabytes right now. Maybe later though, don't tell her. Uh, so I was thinking about NAS for free, and then uh, what I just happened upon on the internet was Open Media Vault. And so Open Media Vault is a good for different media, but it also is just a regular server too, so it can be used for that. Uh, and that's actually Debian based, which is more in my experience, I'm more familiar with Linux than uh, other operating systems or, or you know, at least server operating systems. So. So that's what it's going to be. And so what I thought I'd do is I just got this. I thought I'd, I did open the top, but I haven't pulled out everything. So we'll do that right now on camera. Okay. So, good. And so what we have here are some CDs or DVD documentation. Uh, easy setup uh, for the, it looks like for the RAID configuration, it does have a RAID in it. Uh, some warranty information, which I'm going to guess the warranty information is way out of date. Uh, power cord. And some cardboard. I have to tell you, I love opening boxes. It's like Christmas. So, so go up. And the plastic is sealed. So. So there is my brand new 2013 server. Looks pretty nice actually. It looks brand new. Still got lots of plastic on it. And so this is an iCore 3, so it's not too bad. And I'm going to take off some of the plastic here. And what I'll do next is I'll set this up and then we'll turn it on see if it works actually. So. That would be cool if it worked. Very good. 
so we got it all hooked up, uh, but I thought before we get it hooked up, why don't we take a peek inside? It's a five-year-old computer, basically brand new though. So I got some screws, nice hand screws on the back here, so that's nice. And so far so good. Let me just turn that so you can see. And so this just should just pop off now, so let's go. Well, I have to say it's maybe stuck for being five years old. Hmm. Let's see. actually has a push button on here which I've never had on a computer before sorry about that okay so yeah if we take a look inside everything is brand spanking five years old new so that is pretty amazing looks very nice look how clean that is so okay so here comes the moment of truth we will turn this on and we'll see what happens. Uh, I, obviously I got everything plugged in already. So let me just turn around here. Okay, so we got our monitor. I got a keyboard and mouse set up over here. And so press the start button. Turn on the monitor. See if anything happens, and it is initializing, so we are good. Okay, so no operating system found, so definitely works. So our next step is to try something. Okay, so we got our $99 server open. It looks very nice. It runs, so I'm looking forward over the next few weeks of trying out a few different things, adding in probably Open Media Vault to it. And we'll go from there. And as always, like and subscribe.